Hey you guys, it's your girl Kalia Dot Fashion. And today I'm doing and today I'm on live with Girls Who Brunch at Facebook Takeover. So let's get started. So I will be reading Don't Touch My Hair. And it's by Sherry Miller. For my mom, don't touch my hair. I am Ari and this is my hair. I love my hair. It's not soft and bouncy and grows up toward the sun like a flower. I love it up or down. Styled or round, I don't care. I just want it to be free. Actually, everyone loves my hair too. When I walk down the street, I hear so many compliments. It's so big. How do you get it so fluffy? I wish I had hair like that. It get, it's great that people love my hair, but some love it so much they want to touch it. I don't like this. What does it feel like? They are so curious about my hair that they try to touch it without even asking for permission. Oh, I want to feel. Me too. I get very good at avoiding hands. <laughs> I have to start looking for ways to hide my hair. I try blending in with the secondary, but I quickly spot her. Over here! She's running away. I try hiding underwater, but that doesn't last long. Ooh, I will love your hair. Can I touch it? escape to the jungle, but the critters just can't keep their hands to themselves. Let me touch. Me first, no me. Even in the tallest castle tower, someone is always there waiting and ready to touch my hair. Girl, your hair is fierce. Look at the big dragon, you guys. And you can see space. No matter how far I go, it doesn't seem to matter. How do you get it so big? Whoa, you guys, she's in space. Finally, I find a place where no one wants to touch my hair. But after a few hours, I get lonely. She's in like the island, you guys. I decide to go home and has all the creatures she met. The jungle, the dragon, the space. And yeah. I try my best to ignore the attention, but as hand sinks into my hair, wow, it looks so soft. Oh, it's so soft. I decide I can't take it anymore. That's it. That's enough. Don't touch my hair. Do you know why she's saying don't touch my hair? If you know, make a comment. And if you make a comment, I'll read it and answer. All right. This is my hair. It's great that you love it. I love it too. But please just look and don't touch without my permission. You get it? The next time someone wants to touch my hair, they ask, 
Can I touch your hair? I reply, not today. Okay. Now it feels great to walk down the street without anyone trying to touch my hair. My curls are free to reach for the sun, just like a flower. Some people still ask to touch my hair, but if I say no, they listen. How are you today? Hello. But if you ask nicely, sometimes I say yes. Again, if you know why she doesn't want people to touch her hair, make sure you make a comment. And that's it. So this was just my first book I just read. Do Not Touch My Hair by Sherry Rowan. And the back says, will Ari be able to escape the curious hands that want to touch her hair? Thank you so much. Alright, and you guys, I'm going to be reading a second book. Here is my second book. My second book is My Big Natural Hair by C by C. J. Baker, illustrated by Jasmine Hatcher. It says Amara is sweet little girl with hair as big, natural and as beautiful as can be. Learn how Learn her weekly natural hair routine as she continues to embrace what makes her unique. Amara in, in, enters others who aren't used to seeing different hairstyles and textures. Like her own experience, the story of a bold young girl who was proud of who she is and the natural hair she was born with. Okay, you guys, let's read, let's read the book. It says, to all those who still dream with their eyes closed, keep dreaming, C.J. Baker. My Big Natural Hair. My Big Natural Hair by C.J. Baker. My name is Amora. Little hat. I have big natural hair just like me. Guess what? I love my hair. You should too. Just embrace what you was born with. Hair is your crown, so love it. My hair is so beautiful, I never care when the neighbors stare. Look how long her hair is, you guys. I love those shades, girl. Give me them. Mama says our natural hair is not a burden to bear, and our differences are things we should share. That's her and her mama. Her mama has locks. And she has her Afro puff. So, without losing the smile I wear, I cheer loudly for my big hair. Wow, you guys, you see it? She's literally on the school bus and her hair is like. And I'm going to go back for the next page, you guys. Look. This. It's just to show that you should love your long hair. And you do not call it dreads. Because when it was slavery, the white people used to say that we were dreadsful. For, so when we had dreadlocks, they would say dreads and cut it. So that's why we just like to call them locks instead of dreadlocks. So when you see somebody, don't say dreadlocks, say locks. And if you know about that story about the locks, make a comment about it. I 
As I skip joyfully down the street, my big hair follows along to its own harmonious beat. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> and she's like hopscotching, so yeah. My hair is so unique. Mama changes the style several times a week, just like my mama. See? She's got my hair changed. And right now she's sitting on the floor and her mama like putting her hair. And that's the good stuff to use, that coconut grease. Sunday is wash day. So this is a picture of her washing her long hair. And it says, shampoo for curls. I know my mama shampoos my hair. I know the struggle of mama. On Monday, I wear two Afro puffs. Thank you, Tony Welch. Thank you. On Tuesdays, I wear lots of braids. I can't wait to get my braids back. It's a protective style. On Wednesday, when I take my braids out, I have long, cramped waves. So look at her, strutting her long waves. Even her lips hanging. She's so pretty. On Thursday, I wear ponytails. Look at her cute ponytails, you guys. That's one of my favorites, though. See? On Friday, since the last week is done, I wear one really big bun. I see. I'm rhyming, y'all. Her big bun. My hair and I have such a busy week. On Saturday, I take down my hair with ease. Even our hair deserves to breathe. I know that's right. That's why when my mommy um, takes down my hair and she washes it, she puts it in braids just to let it breathe. Because when you do too much to your hair, it can't breathe. So make sure you know that. After you get your hair done, wash it, put in some easy little twist of braids to calm your hair down. My hair is magic. My hair makes me feel free. Look at her long, beautiful dress and the little butterfly. And just remember, your hair is your crown. So wear it the way you want it. Strut the way you want it. And don't let nobody say that you don't look good in it. I love my big natural hair and my big natural hair loves me. I know I love you, my natural hair. <laughs> that's it I want to thank you guys for watching and I want to thank Miss Nicola for letting me do the Facebook live and just remember you were raised by queens so make sure you say that to your mama or if you were raised by kings make sure you say that to your daddy because they love you and make sure you appreciate your hair and the skin that you are in. And just love yourself because you are beautiful. And deep down inside, you know that too. Thank you. And remember.